4th August 2021 Blackpink in your area Alright, 안녕하세요 여러분 잘 지냈어요 um, Today is the um, 4th of August 2021 and a new movie of um, Blackpink has been released So I'm here in this Sydney world um, New, what's that? Wandsworth, London to watch the movie um, The last time I went to cinema it was like to watch the Fast and Furious you know the one with the saw and hops yeah i think that was like two or three years ago so yeah so after a long time i'm in the cinema and okay before i say anything i want to admit that i'm not a hardcore blink nor a i'm a black head because i love k-pop in general so i support all the girl groups because girl groups or boy group or solo artists or whatever i support all of them because because k-pop is like not just about music it's about you know like the hardship they have to go through and how, how like you know like how difficult it is to compete with each other um, in this generation um, out of like in Korea there are like three main agencies so one is the YG and from YG obviously the Blackpink is like one of the biggest you know like a superstar and from JYP is twice and from SM is the red velvet so far but I would say out of all three Blackpink must be the one like who dominated this era of like the girls in girl, girl groups but yeah so that's the ticket um, actually I wanted to come with Sarah you know but she re she rejected my offer like twice like it was like two two year two weeks ago I asked her out and she said no and on Monday I whatsapp her and she didn't even read my message so yeah whatever Sarah if you're watching this video sarang eh yeah, so that's it um overall this um this movie the black thing the movie is it's not like a proper movie it's just about you know like they saw all the live performance in like with the different like mixture of live performance and they just have like some kind of short interviews so overall it is the um celebration of the fifth year anniversary because they debuted in August 2016 so 2016 17 18 19 20 21 one more thing 16 17 18 19 20 21 yeah so this is the five year anniversary thingy um, celebration um, overall um, it was day back because this is the first time I experienced the um, cinema in the 4DX the funny thing is that before at first I thought the you know like because for the 3d you need the special glasses to put on but on this one i was looking i asked for the glasses but you, you don't need that for the 4 3 x so basically it, you have like a chair and it vibrates it, it moves according to the sound according to the music and and um they're like some kind of wind coming in your face because see for today black pink see what i'm wearing black and see that is shoe pink it's not pink but orange yeah so black pink um yeah so the wind comes in the face and sometimes there's like water splash on your face um at the beginning i thought it was cool but after like after like 100 minutes after one hour after one hour 20 minutes it starts getting a bit not a big fan of 4dx because it's like watching it's like watching a movie on like somewhere in the sky like because the wind is blowing and since i'm wearing short today and it feels quite cold after later on so overall it was a good experience and i would say a seven out of ten in overall yeah so um yeah so now i have to find a way to go home and eat something and go home oh, it says that there's a new fast and furious is coming up can you see the oh yeah so overall they have okay so because like for the in order to compete in the k-pop industry you have like so many like hundreds and hundreds of agencies and you have to be one of the best in order to achieve that dream and like my mentor Talopez, he always says that go straight to the top and like Blackpink is like one of the top GZ ever and so because 
because um, one of the guy I follow called Russell Brunson, he says that the the business which which can invest more money to get to attract the customer will win in the in the long run. And since YZ is one of the biggest agency, because it was formed in like 1996 or something like that, so like more than 20, almost about 20. I don't know how. So yeah, for a like long time they have been like established as a, one of the biggest agency, and they have the enough capital to advertise and you know like hire all the coaches and all the like a like a practice choreographer everything and you know like a diet everything um so they are phenomenal they are awesome um one more thing i want to point out is that in all in in their life like in the in the life performance if you see the quality of the you know like the band and all those um the, the set they use they are very very expensive looking and they must have spent like millions and millions in order to do the setup uh, what else do i miss there okay because in k-pop it's not like if you are good in singing you can be a singer or idol because you have to be good at at um dancing at talking at you know like um, playing instruments or singing and you, you have to be able to get get together with the team as a team because if you see yeah all the four Jisoo is the only one who is a native Korean because he was born in Korea and raised there but um, Kim Jenny even though she was born in Korea she had to go to I think New Zealand for like four or five years and have to come back as a trainee in YZ and Lisa she's obviously from Thailand and uh, what's my my bias from Blackpink I'm um, Rose Park Taeyong yeah she's my bias um, she was in she was born and raised in no, she was born in New Zealand but had to move to Australia when she was like young and yeah when she was like 14 15 she had to move to South South Korea to you know like pursue her dream um, whenever I think about Blackpink they, it reminds me of like 21 I would say Zeni is like CL um, Lisa is like a Minzy and Rose is obviously like pop form because that's the reason I like Rose because like due to do her like powerful voice and at the end is Jisoo who is like a the Dara because you know because she is not the like the strongest in any field but she gets along with the everyone of uh, what else um, I would say it's I don't know like few to be honest like few times while I'm watching it like I not cry most of what weep because it's like tr tr well, the, the tears just fell down from my eyes it's because you know all the hardships they have to go through and all this competition they have to face oh man yeah it's a hard for um, what else I want to add overall it was a great experience in a 4d chair but I won't recommend to anyone who have like any back issues or like any bones or nervous problem because they just like be bumpy right um, so overall yeah Sarah you missed that man you missed that I invited you twice to go out with me but you rejected my offer I hate you nah don't worry okay overall yeah it was a good 5th year anniversary celebration with us Blink and I wish all the best to all the Blinks and Blackpink members yeah keep working hard and obviously like Charlie Munger like one of the smartest people on, 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 on planet living alive who is the partner of Warren Buffett he says that you know the world is not a crazy place to reward a bunch, bunch of undeserving people so it means that if you deserve you get it yeah so black thing they deserve it so that's what they're number one because one of my hobby is to you know like 
study and research about successful business, successful people, what sort of habits they have and how they achieve their dream goals, yeah, those kind of things. Uh, Blackman obviously is is in my radar so I did a research about them and yeah so I don't regret about that so overall Blackpink, Chukai and keep fighting and so hopefully we'll so you would keep on dominating the the music industry as a gold group and as a solo artist okay then so that's it for now bye bye